Let's do a real-time sketch, but rather than using pen and paper, this time I'm gonna use my digital drawing tablet. So let's jump into it. I will sketch directly in Viscom rather than sketching on another application or scanning my sketch. I created a new file and start in studio. The reason I wanna start in Viscom directly today is there's a new update. Now on this brush settings, you can see that use the pressure for size, use pressure for opacity. So that's what I was kind of missing. It's something sounds very simple, but it affects the sketching process a lot in my opinion. So that's why I wanted to use here. And in this video, I don't have anything in mind. I will just start sketching kind of randomly, let's say. So my brush is selected and let's start with a side view because it's like the simple way to generate ideas, I would say. And it's the strong part of the car. So I will just put very rough wheels for putting uh, proportions to understand it. And I want to do something a little bit fresh today, like rather than trying to sketch an existing segments, existing car body shapes, I want to go a little bit more, by the way, already when I just drove this, I can see the description of the prompt, two abstract intersecting lines forming X shapes, minimalistic and delicate design. So this auto prompting is interesting, even without sketching properly it's trying to guess what I sketched. So we will later refresh this. What I was even saying, yeah, I was saying that I wanna do something fresh today rather than existing body shapes and so on. So I will try to not focus too much of the correct proportions of existing cars. And hopefully this will lead to something more like futuristic direction, but still to have an idea at the end if it's a supercar or like a city car, I think it's important to think through. Let's do some type of uh, urban car today. I do a lot of sports car sketches, so maybe for a change. Like this cube type of thing would be the general, I don't know, like a bus style, minibus style box. I don't want that, let's go. I don't know, I will try to do something like a triangular shape. I will play with graphics. Like when it's an urban car, generally the compactness and the functionality is important, so in this case, it's better to like play with the graphics to keep still kind of like a cube shape, but with the graphics making it more interesting, let's say. So I will, I'm just trying, we are having fun. It's just a free time sketching at the end, as I said. I'm exaggerating the wheels because we are trying to capture the emotions at the moment. It's just finding the idea. We don't even have a proper packaging or something to follow. So why not to go a little bit exaggeration? And you know, this might sound even like many people might be against this, but by the way, by mistake, I click on N rather than B for brush and N creates a new layer just for information. Many people might be even against it. Like you need to have a concept and idea behind every sketch and how you come up with um, like these lines. Why is it like that? I agree, like if there's a project brief, if you have like a detailed introdu introduction, if you are following a strict project, yes, it would be better maybe. But for sketching, especially like free time sketching like that, I think it's okay to follow your random lines. Like this kind of happened while I'm talking and now I'm trying to just focus on styling wise, aesthetical wise. Here I'm thinking about what type of surface it can be like maybe we can have some negative surface here to catch some shadow maybe also here some twisting surfaces but nothing like super deep or philosophical approach just the line continuity here i mentioned it before on one of my videos we can cover the rear wheel a little bit with this it's totally fine and the rims like i want to do something very simple rims maybe even like four spoke just like that and then here we can have thinner spokes. By the way, let me know if you like this type of real-time sketching that I'm talking randomly and sketching randomly because I can do this a lot. I can, it's fun for me. It's just pure joy. And when I was a student, when I was younger, I was curious about how other people uh, do this. How is their flow, workflow? And that's actually one of the reasons that I have my YouTube channel. And if you are new, by the way, yeah, I'm a car designer. Now I'm a freelance designer and I used to work in Volkswagen Group Ital Design. I did my master's in Italy. I had experience at Ford as an intern and also I worked in Austria at Design Storz, a smaller design studio 
focus on both product and transportation projects and at the end I became a freelancer so when there's a interesting project that they want to hire me for different companies I'm working on this type of projects and other than that I do YouTube Instagram I have my online courses so I'm sharing my experience there and feel free to subscribe if you are interested in car design I think it's super fun so this is like what I try to do here is like without even thinking by I don't know by sketching cars for a long time is pushing the wheels to the corners like extending the car even if it's an urban car and exaggerating the wheels it gives like still a sporty compact character like if I had some longer overhangs on both rear and the front the car would start to look let's try like a silhouette like this it's hard to imagine but it would already become like a bit fat and like a big volume other than that when I push the wheels outside it gives a bit more compact feeling so what I would want from this car would be definitely a double color like this thing here is like a body color maybe and here I would go with another color or maybe like black I don't even have windows at the moment a greenhouse area maybe we can add it or we can leave it to Viscom to see what will happen but maybe I would like to follow this line here to create maybe something like that and this can be the greenhouse maybe let's see where it will go what I'm gonna do is creating a new layer now maybe making it by clicking on this arrow here I will change it to multiply and lower the opacity a little bit and I will get dark gray something like that make my brush a little bit bigger to paint this area you can also use the selection tools like there is multiple options now you can use on Viscom for selecting the areas but I will just quickly paint like that there we go front rim front wheel I can also paint it dark so this will give an idea of the color division hopefully we will see and here also we can have this secondary color let's say and I'm gonna create a maybe I'm gonna duplicate this layer or let's create a new layer I will do the same like lower opacity multiply and I will get maybe something like some bluish color let's use the some selection tool this time I will go here to use for example Bezier selection and I can use it like a pen tool in Photoshop basically here we go okay here I messed up a little bit here we go so this seems fine to me so I'm gonna get my brush and brush it you can also use like a paint bucket tool Control D, D select, and okay, let's see what will happen. Now I'm gonna hit describe. So it will refresh the description of what happened here. Futuristic concept car with large geometric wheels, streamlined body, and tinted windows side view. Let's just start with that. I'm gonna use Viscom General V2 with the drawing influence maybe 90% to see, to get a little bit of surprising effect there. And by the way, I was saying that if you are new to channel, that I'm a brand ambassador of Viscom, which means I'm part of also the development team. Like I'm not writing calls or something. I'm not that type of development team, but as a car designer, I give my opinion, feedbacks, and I see some features in advance. So we have this collaboration for a while. Actually for years, I'm following Viscom and seeing each time how, how they develop, it's really exciting for me. So I'm really proud to be part of the team. And here are already the results. I think I like the first one the most, maybe because of the reflections. But they are interesting. It's like a small robotic car type of approach. Not like the sexy cars with the curves and so on, but I think for an urban environment it would fit. So what I'm gonna do now is going to refine, lower the opacity of this drawing. And uh, not opacity, sorry, the influence of the drawing to 75 or maybe something like 70 on Viscom General still and hit generate to see like to clean up. The image a little bit here we go some parts got also softer like this curve got a little bit softer on some of the results not a big difference but I think I like more the first one yeah, I'm gonna add this one I can zoom out a little bit hit F for flipping the image to see it's a little bit too much forwarding uh, leaning forward like going down on the front a little bit too much but for now I think I'm quite happy with that I can re-render as much as I, I want I can use reference images but I don't want to go into these things on this video because I want to do it more like a sketching and rough ideation so this can be just one of the ideas and now I can just hide all these layers and open create a new layer let's get a small brush again some like five pixels four pixels I'll get the black color 
and start sketching again. What to sketch this time? I'm looking around because I have Hot Wheels, I have model cars like this Valkyrie here. I'm thinking what to sketch because it's totally random real time sketching video. And I'm a big Porsche fan. I mentioned multiple times on the channel. Like if you are not new, if you are following for a while, you know that I'm a big fan here. <laughs> and actually I'm a little bit excited because nowadays I'm checking a second hand 15 years old Cayman, Cayman 987.2. So very soon I might purchase one if everything goes well. If not, these cars are rare and I'm not gonna push more. So wish me luck, wish me luck that everything goes well. And I might be like realizing my dreams of having a Porsche. Having a sports car is already a dream, but having a Porsche because of the engine layout and so on, it really excites me. And I share here on this channel all the time, like, hey, I want a Porsche and so on. So let's actually, while editing this video, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen, but if not, I can show you that I got it. Here it is. It's like really the dream comes true. I'm going to talk about it later on another video. Probably I will make more detailed review or something, but look at this color. So at the end, everything went well and I just got it. I will talk about it later in another video. Let's sketch a Porsche then, right? Let's <laughs> try to sketch something like a Cayman. Not to try to sketch, let's sketch it. But of course not the existing one. I will try to use the proportions of it, but in a more modern way with different style, let's say. Let's go a little bit more perspective this time. And really on uh, this new brush settings of the Wiscom, it's way better. Like before I was not a big fan of sketching here because it felt too rigid, the pen. Now with this opacity, with the pressure, you need a tablet for that, of course, like don't try to sketch with a mouse. So you can use also the pressure with the pen of your tablet. So for the Cayman, it's not totally round lights, I, I think. Like it depends on the generation, it's getting closer to the round, but it's never like a 911 type of uh, directly round. So I will exaggerate this feature by making it even a little bit more stretched. And on this generation of 987, I like that this air intake goes down here to create a connection and also another air intake in the middle we can add something like that i was saying the brush of wiscom i even lost my toes i was i think i jumped from topic to topic while sketching sorry for that if it's confusing here are some rough rims i exaggerate also the rims like they are kind of sticking out of the tires which is fine for sketch as i said this is not like a proper package and so on. Here on the rear of the Cayman, we have very nice hips, let's say very exaggerated, like in mod in the production car, it's quite visible that the surface is going out and coming in. So that's what I wanted to show here on the sketch from this angle. And I put very light lines for the greenhouse to, to find, figure it out where I want the line to be. Let's say for now, something like that. I think because of I'm also recording my screen, there's a little bit of lagging happening at the moment. I don't know if it's visible to the screen record, but okay, now it's better. Here we go. I will hit F to see. Like there are many new tools on Viscom, but still on the transformation, I don't have this like edit and then pull some points around to fix my sketch, fix my perspective. It's a little bit of missing thing at the moment. But other than that, as I said, sketching here is now way more efficient and way more fun. Let's add the air intakes here. Yeah, I'm really excited about even thinking about possibility of having my own Porsche Cayman. I talk with some other Porsche Cayman owners, 987.1 or 0.2, and they all are super happy. Or when I watch the videos, like how how is the driving dynamics of the car? Because it's the mid engine, basically rear mid engine not like totally rear or not front engine. And they say the balance of the car is super impressive and I'm really curious about that. For the headlights, I'm gonna put like maybe two here and one main light rather than four dots, I think it's evolving. So we can minimize it by making only two. Let's see, let's describe that, what it will give us. I think the proportions are a little bit off on the sketch. Sleek sport car with aerodynamic curves, prominent headlights and tilted angle view emphasizing dynamics. So this time let's go to exterior V2. On the previous one we used the Viscom General, so I'm gonna keep drawing also 90% and hit generate. As I see here it's been like 18 minutes or something. 
So I think after this sketch, we can finish that video. What I like about exterior V2 is, I mean, not always, it, it doesn't work always the same way. It depends on the sketch, depends on the prompt, I guess. And depends on all the options you have here, like the influ influence sliders here, it also changes. But in that case, I like this lightness of the sketch, like very light gray, very minimal style of rendering. I, I really like it. But here I see the this line here looks very awkward perspective wise, but it's because of my base sketch. I think I like this one. So I'm gonna hit add that one. And now maybe I can create a new layer on top and try to kind of fix this line. If I hit F, I also see it like, I would extend this nose a little bit. It looks too flat. For example, here, I would try to push it a little bit forward if it makes sense. Maybe this can be the hair intake now. I'm not sure how it will affect the result, but let's see. Also here, I want dark in intake area like this. A little bit of extending the lip of the splitter, the front already adds. I would even stretch it more. Maybe in Photoshop, I would use the warp tool. But now I will not do that. And on the back, I would clean this area like that to emphasize the round rear muscle area. There we go. And with the black, maybe I can create the real house. I think it's not that bad already, the sketch. Would you say the Porsche Cayman? It's maybe a little bit too, too sharp lines for a Cayman, but let's refine it and let's see what happens. I'm gonna, for refining, I will use the Viscom General because it gives cleaner results and I will keep like 70% and hit generate. Okay, not a lot changed here, but okay. Some of them are softer, I like it more. I think this is the cleanest one. So I'm gonna add that one, hit F to see how it goes. Not bad at all. Reminds me more like the 718, like the current Cayman. I'm gonna go to render to like try different things. Like let's go to Viscom General, influence 85% and hit generate. Maybe I would also describe again one more time, but it's it's already fitting to the current sketch as well. Whoa, this is not the direction that I would like. It goes a little bit too much racy style, too much air intakes and too sharp for my taste. So maybe we can say, first let's describe it to see where it goes. I can also use the reference image as a Porsche Cayman or I can even create a palette now with Porsche Cayman to support this. But for this video, it's sketching video. It's not like, as I said at the beginning, it's like just real time sketching. So what I'm going to do is maybe say sleek silver Porsche Cayman with aerodynamic curves. I want to delete the aggressive front. I don't need that. Ah, let's see, generate. Okay, still I'm getting this air outlets on the bonnet. That's not what I want. So I will not push this direction at the moment because I see also my camera will soon will be out of battery. So let's leave it here for today's sketching session. I hope you enjoyed. We had already two sketches in, I guess, less than 20 minutes or around 20, 25 minutes, whatever. So it's more like a chilled sketching session. I hope you enjoyed. And YouTube thinks that you would be interested in this video as well. So hope to see you there. Have a nice day.